going everybody welcome back to rc car garage and today we are outside in this beautiful weather and i got something to show you guys so i did it finally got the body on to the chassis the rgt 136240 chassis and here is what she looks like as you guys can see i got the light bars in the back here the roll bars in the back i uh use super glue as you guys can see i use super glue to glue that on i just grabbed a permanent marker painted that up colored that up but guys i think that it just looks absolutely beautiful what i also had to do was if you guys can see i cut the fenders um, so that the wheels wouldn't catch because what happens is you guys can see it right there the tire is going to catch if there's any articulation the tires are going to catch I might have to do something with that uh, we're actually going to give this thing a run but before we do that let me show you guys what this thing looks like a little montage here starting off with the side Yes, I finally got this thing put on. Uh, if you guys saw in my last video, I had the option of also putting the Silverado engine. Uh, engine. <laughs> I also had the option of putting the Silverado body on this chassis, but it wasn't going to work. Uh, it was actually going to sit up too high on the chassis, and I did not like the way it was going to look. The Tundra body was perfect for this so let me show you guys how i ended up putting the body mounting the body onto the chassis and uh we're gonna give this thing a little run so let's check it out so as you guys can see the body is securely mounted on there let me just put it on the side there i did end up making my own hinge system for the chassis um, the front is held on with Velcro, as you guys can see. So there's Velcro right there, Velcroed it right onto there. Uh, got this thing definitely has lights, hot glued it on there. And I did not have to mess with the wiring. The wiring is perfect. As you guys can see, it's on the hinge system that I made. And this thing just works absolutely perfectly. The other thing is on the body right there, these two posts. There you guys see there and there line up perfectly right with the motor here you go right with the motor and the servo which centers it perfectly right on there guys i have got to say i am totally totally in love with this thing the way it looks absolutely look at that it just looks sweet so let's go give this thing a run and see what it does
I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name. Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame, mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy, all I got is working. Never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic. Go! I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off on a mindless topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight Freedom is priceless, spread just like a virus, living in a crisis. Do you feel courageous? Do you see greatness? Trust me, you can take it. Go on and take your aim. I will to last with the webs I'm weaving. I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like gas, then this life's gonna eat and make mistakes real fast. So if you guys see right there, so the tire keeps binding up right there on the fender, on the bumper actually, and it'll eventually tuck up underneath, just like that. And when it does that, it causes a lot of load onto the truck which kind of really slows it down. Um, I mean, other than that, this thing looks great. I love, I absolutely love the way the Tundra body looks on it. As you guys can see, it just looks absolutely badass. See it climb up this right here. But, the fact that that front tire keeps binding up, it definitely does not help it. Come on, baby. They, it, as the tire catches the body, I have it at full throttle, but it just binds up so much that it does not help. There we go.
Um, now that I know where, now that I know where the body binds on the front tire, for instance, right there. Uh, come on. Now that I know where the front tire binds on the body. So there you have it. <laughs> um, but like I was just saying, now that I know where the front tires are binding on the front of this thing, um, I'm going to have to do a little more cutting, snipping um, on the body. So, as you, as you guys all saw, where she really binds is right when the tire is turned fully or the other way. Come on. And the body is going, is leaning. The tire is able to sneak, sneak up underneath there like so. And it binds it up, causing it to not have the crawl ability to crawl so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something I'm gonna have to do something with the front bumper here whoa I'm gonna have to do something with the front bumper here so it doesn't catch as much as it does um, but other than that guys I think I think it just looks absolutely freaking awesome. Um, I think it looks absolutely freaking awesome the way it sits just like this, guys. I mean, how can you not? It just looks absolutely ridiculously awesome, guys. Just look at it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Absolutely love the way it looks. Just the way it sits. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love it. So, guys, there we have it. Um, I was able to get the body onto the chassis, like I said, I wanted to do. Uh, the Tundra body... I really like this Tundra body, and uh, I think it looks absolutely awesome, but now there's just a couple kinks that I got to fix. I, like I said earlier, I did cut the fender some, um, because I knew that was going to be an issue with the fenders and the tires not working together correct properly, <laughs> so I knew that was going to be an issue already. So I just figured, you know what, let me cut off some of that, which I did, but it's still binding up way too much. So I'm going to have to cut a little more of that fender um, because I did cut, I did cut back here also. Let me see if I can get a better. All right. So on the other side, I did cut back here also, as you guys can see that it has been cut. I did cut the front here. It looks like I'm going to have to cut more of the front here. Um, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. So it looks like I'm going to have to cut more of the front right here on both sides. Uh, because as you guys saw, it keeps binding. So there we have it. There she is. I am totally in love with the way this thing looks and I'm just totally in love with the way it looks honestly so hope you guys enjoy the content uh, please hit that like button subscribe and we will see you guys in another video so you guys stay tuned you all have a good one